Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more RBT5 Left 4 Dead 2 action. Today, we got a pretty good game for you, Dark Carney Remix. Uh, we have Babylonia going against Royal Chaos. I am Amethyst. Alongside me today is my co-caster, Chunk. Chunk, how are you How's today? It? I'm doing great, Amethyst. How are you doing? Good. I, uh, I'm excited to watch this game between two pretty solid NA teams. Uh, yeah. We're getting good right away. Boomer's yeah, going to go Yeah, we're calling immediate. Ooh, Hunter getting team skeeted immediately. Yeah, two right there. Um, usually not going to, to, to do too much damage. Usually you want a smoker there or a charger there to help you out. But uh, I, I, a little damage with the 2-2 two -two isn't, isn't, isn't too awful. It looks like the entire hit was shut down other than two damage off of that boomer, but uh, not looking good for that infected there. You want to at least get some damage there. I'm going to have to go for the bridge hit, obviously go in the complete opposite direction than you do in regular Dark Carnival, because this is Remix, baby. We're going the opposite way. Charger's going to oh, go yeah. for Switch it up here. Hunter's going to go Hunter land. landing there with the spit. Decent damage coming out. A lot of damage there onto no comment. Um, oh, and Grizz with the early pause, he has to think about it. Oh, looks like, <laughs> right, looks like Rails. Oh, there's a crash coming out here. Okay, not what you want to see early game. Feels bad. I'm actually curious as to where he crashed. Who was Rails? Rails was for Shell. So, we're, okay, so Rails crashed in the far back, not near any of the special infected, especially not near the spitter. That's good news at least, but I wonder if him being conscious would have helped clear comment a little faster absolutely we're just gonna have to wait here and see what happens when they ready back up hopefully everything goes well it's looking good right now oh, we have this momentary pause how i we were talking about it a little bit how familiar are you with this map exactly chunk uh i am not very familiar i have played through it one time in a pub and that's it Okay, I, I'm not nearly as knowledgeable as some other people, but it's it's a very fun map. It's a very fun twist uh, on the regular Dark Carnival. Lots of different turns, lots of different chokes, lots of different strategies. And uh, I'm excited to see a lot of them here because I know both of these teams have uh, practiced uh, Remix quite a bit. Oh, absolutely. It's a wonderful map, but it is very long. And you have to keep that in mind when you play this absolutely. map. And it can be very, very tolling on both teams. We might see by, you know third or fourth map might be a little bit of fatigue in both teams i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't imagine on a home away game how this might take you know oh, on people. yeah absolutely that unbelievable would, that's that's a good handful of hours especially if both teams make it very far and they have long tank flights absolutely you're looking at a possibility of four hours there yeah. It's going to go ahead and get shut down rather swiftly. That 2-2 had a little bit more potential than the 2-2 we saw earlier uh, because we could see a couple of special infected come from the roof, but that hit was shut down as quick as the first 2-2 was. Absolutely. They're doing an amazing job of shutting down the SI and just running through this map, not taking uh, any damage that they don't need to. So it looks like they do have a quad for this hit, but this is one of those kind of awkward spots for a quad where I think maybe sometimes you'd rather have a spitter or a boomer. Uh, but let's see if they can make something work with this. They're going to have to uh, cross down into this park sooner or later, and I assume they're going to hit as they drop. It is a choke point here, but it looks like they're not going to hit for the choke. They're going to wait up here. Hunter spawned up. Just kind of pouncing around, trying to distract, but they're not falling for it. I just go all the way through. It could be a little dangerous because of that alarm car. Oh, Chalky pulled back. That's good. That's good damage right there. But nothing else lands, so it's a little rough. Yeah, Um. like I said, I think for that hit to really work, Somebody has to get stumbled by something. That's usually how a lot of good close quarter like quads happen, is somebody gets stumbled by either the hunter or jockey, and then everybody else just sort of piles on and takes people away. Um, and no one was able to really get that right there. Absolutely. You want to have like maybe three survivors together, 
and grab the pounce, and then it's over. If two of them get stumbled, you get the jock, you get the smoke, it's over. It's a done deal. Also, I highly recommend saying the sentence close quarters quad. Really fun. <laughs> never never said that before. It's actually it's great, great alliteration. Close quarters quad. <laughs> I love it. CQ, uh, C, oh, fuck it. That's a CCQ. DQQ, yeah. No, 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 CQQ. I couldn't even say it. I couldn't oh, even Lord. say it right. That's... I couldn't even say it. I said CQ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so it looks like we're going to have, uh, I guess you call this, uh, oh, you know what? They might, they might go all the way back towards they the are. parkland area. They're yeah, Rochelle's, the hill. Rochelle's out of there. Okay. They are definitely okay. going all the way. Back. Oh yeah, we get war rooms for this. Uh, oh. This, this uh, all these tank fights are gonna remix. So vanilla, take it away. You guys enjoy the sweet sound of Rails' voice. Absolutely. Okay. Watch the alarm car, yeah. You guys go. I'll stay here. Good. Hey, watch me. Watch that pole. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. We gotta go up here. Hold! Alright, we're good. Okay, okay, okay. Good, oh. good, good. Smoker's still there, but we're good. That's dead. Alright, we're in the spot. Get ammo. I'm good. We get ammo. Alright, he's on the roof, yeah. Rock, rock. Oh. Oh my god. You got one car. Comment like three times. Plus I got a lag spike. Yeah, that's alright. We'll have to be in with this, I think. Yep. Alright, still coming for me. Eyes on Lust. He's, on, he's gonna try to down me. Just make sure he can't kill me, yeah. That's the hit. Oh. Damn. I'm charge. Unfortunate. Uh. It. That's it! I can't believe it, but that's wait, it! No, oh, wait! Rock. No, wait! No, the rock! And it's over just like that. Great support coming out there at the end. Just when you thought that they could pull it off, it's over. Okay. All right. Well. Oh my lord. What an amazing rock from that tank. Also, right before he was about to lose second pass, he lands that rock, and it saves him. That's that was, exactly uh, what they needed. That that hittable control too, being able to clip Ellis with that car. That that can be a pretty difficult spot for a tank to do anything in, and that everybody just worked in tandem and did a beautiful job. That was amazing uh communication on their part. They were coordinated and they were ready. And it shows. Now let's see how they do on Survivor. To try to hit you with this 2 2. Boomer gonna get shut down right away. Hunter getting shut down as well, and Spitter won't get anything. That is a complete shutdown on the hit. Even less damage than uh, uh, Babylonia guy. That's a complete <laughs> zero. Absolutely. A donut on the board. Cross. At least. <laughs> hey, yeah. At least they had two. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> I, excuse you, I believe it was three. Was it? Okay. I believe it uh, I'm not sure. Three. I'm I don't want. Sure. I don't want to shortchange Babylonia. We can check the vods. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see how they go with the second hit. Charger coming from the top of this billboard. Who is this charger? This sneaky charger. Yes. Grizz gonna come dropping in down, but he's gonna and drop oh. where nobody is. And Never still pop. we get a charge charger lands. Place. Nice charge and the jock landing as well. Smoker too. This is exactly what they needed after that hit getting shut down. They, complete, a... they completely made up for the damage they lost on that first hit right there. You know, that was a very momentary, very momentary uh, three cap. And uh, I was very surprised that the jockey and charger got anyone because they came from the wrong side of the bridge. They were working against the, 
the way that the survivors are moving, but they were able to get that done. Yeah, it felt like a bit of a rushed hit, but I think that they just worked fast and they were able to get it done. You know, yeah. we're looking at a we're looking at an infected team here that can adapt really quick. So I actually think this two two right here might be a better setup than the quad we saw from Babylonia's infected side. I think that a uh, th this charger hunter two two with the spitter and the distraction from the boomer can really really hurt a team, especially in this room right here. Yeah, it can do a lot of damage, and that's uh, really a problem uh, for Babylonia if they mess up here. They've got to play this really smart. Because if Royal Chaos capitalizes on this, that's big damage. It's a small area. Boomer coming in, landing one. Hunter getting destroyed immediately. Spitter landing a little bit of damage, but the Charger's gone too. They took that really well. Yep, they did take that really well. Uh, the, the Charger and the Hunter just ended up getting smoked. Obviously, those things are going to be your uh, your main source of damage right there, along with the Spit. But a good job just eyeing out both of those problems and taking them out with ease. And we're, we're coming close to where the tanks spawn. It looks like the Infected are going to have one more hit, and they're going to go fast because you can't really hit near that hill. Oh, the Boomer wow. is okay. going to get a 2, a well, two cap boom. and a boom. Okay, Jockey taking a little bit to get cleared, but gets done. That's a good amount of damage right there. Nick is almost slow. They they needed a good hit like that to keep them in this one. That's think. what you want. That's what you want before tank. Now the question is, how far are they going to take it back? Are they going to try and take it a little bit less back to hopefully get the points, or are they going to go all the way back and take them? It's it's interesting here because you know Rail's team did uh, Royal Chaos and they um they had somebody bleeding and obviously back in that parking lot is a better spot but you can fight this tank on this hill it's not impossible it's not like a foregone conclusion you know as someone who's only played this map once in a pug I can't say for sure but it seems like it'd be pretty tough it's not the best spot but does mean you don't have to go back through that choke ooh very nice very nice skeet on that hunter. Oh, that charge! It's a good thing that yeah. charge got cleared when it did. Actually, that tank is a bit too far away. But nonetheless, now Nathan does have to drop his pill, uh, pop his pills. Let's see, we, let's see what they do here. Um, I believe we were doing both war rooms. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we now we are going to go to. It's going to be Royal Chaos's uh war room the entire time. So now we're going to go rails on uh, infected side. Enjoy that. Lost again. Yeah. will bring this hitable there. Sorry, you're at sixty percent. So. I'm right for hit form, yeah. Yes, got it. <laughs> I missed. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, Anti both of us. I'm gonna hit this over. Yeah, and you can climb on the roof then. That one to the right. That one's over. And you got your alarm car horde, so. Gonna go into this. Alright. Nice, man. If you pull Rochelle, I can help you with that, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna spawn here. Uh, Dang. And it just flipped. Fuck no. Do what you can. Yeah, he's hard in the back. Good job. Yes. Oh. Dang. Found. Woo. Okay, so that was a really interesting case of having one person get one boomed actually might have been worse than having no one boomed at all. Because of that one boom, that entire alarm horde attracted to Coach, was it, I don't remember, I don't remember who it was, but whoever was boomed on, like a magnet, uh, and made it so basically everybody else could just shoot the tank. That worked incredibly well for the survivors. Not only that, but the tank just getting incredibly unlucky with the hittables. <gasps> Woo!
Oh, nice job by Nathan there for that Oh, ski. and the next hit coming out. Nice jock, too. Lots of damage on that jock. And a smoke, too. Decent damage coming out. The Infector is still putting up a fight. They're still trying. Yeah, Even after with, that uh, tank. with no pills being left here, I think they can definitely kill them before the safe room. They still have to go through this, like, sort of park area. They're not going to make it out before they get another hit up, and then they have to go down the hill. They can they can certainly uh, make it... Ro Royal Chaos can certainly make it that they are uh, putting Babylonia out of their misery here. And here we go again with an immediate hit, definitely getting one down, almost down on Ellis, and that Hunter's going to finish the job. Boomer getting shut down by Rochelle. Rochelle has the only health bonus, so you're really looking to keep her up. But it's already... It's just going down and down. Yeah, now she has to be the babysitter to three teammates who are slow and are going to be constantly behind her. Um, and I know Rails pretty well as a player. I've played in his team a bunch of times. He likes to hit fast and quick, and this is the prime opportunity to do that. Oh, and I've, oh, another hit's coming out right here. The charge in the spit again, and that's going to be a death on Ellis. They need to really keep pushing here if they want to beat the points. And they're really close to beating them on points. They just have to push past that hill. It's worth noting that the only other person who has gone down so far is Nathan. So ours and uh, Mia are still going to need two downs to... Uh, but no, three downs in total to kill them. So I don't know if it's going to be anything super worth of noting, but it might be a game changer. Hunter's coming out, landing real quick. Instant clear, but the smoker is going to land and get a Good decent amount block. of damage. And the jockey on the only health bonus, taking Rochelle for a oh, ride. No. That's Bring all of your health road. bonus right there, and it's destroyed. It's over. <laughs> the Dark Carnival merry go And that's it. Ending with a four-point lead on Team Royal Chaos. That was a lot of fun to see. You had to figure that even though that tank wasn't able to kill Babylonia with, you know, a wipe, you saw that that team, did, Babylonia, did not have any pills, and you had to figure that Rails' team, Royal Chaos, had a pretty good shot at uh, being able to kill the survivors before they made it to the safe room. Well, they made a smart move by capitalizing on Ellis there, knowing he was black and white. And then, you know, once you kill one, it's much easier to kill three survivors than it is to kill four. Absolutely, yep. As soon as Ellis died, they, they took full advantage of that. And also a good job by that jockey who uh, was able to completely take out the rest of the health bonus that uh, Babylonia had. But not only that, the more important thing was that he was the only fast survivor up. So once the jockey had secured him and Nick was a little hoarded, there was no way Nick was going to catch up to Rochelle. Absolutely. Very smart play by the jockey going for the health bonus and uh, not only going for the health bonus, but going for the only person that was fast, meaning that nobody could catch up and it was an easy kite. Oh, the uh, incredible, uh, gigantic four point lead. Babylonia is going to go first. <laughs> 44% tank is, I see my, my, um, tank distances are all screwed up. I think, th I can't imagine this is like a carousel tank fight. I have to think this is a safe room tank fight, but we'll see. We'll see in just a second. Absolutely. We'll see. Hunter coming out, getting skeeted. Whole hit getting pretty much shut down. Boomer landing, but the damage, oh, getting two again. It's a mirror of last round. This uh, first Dark Carnival chapter, Dark Carnival Remix chapter 2, is a lot different from uh, regular Dark Carnival simply because of that cage on top of the safe room. It mixes up the strategies and what infected go first there quite a lot. Absolutely. It's a completely different path you take, too. How you take every hit in this map is completely different from Dark Carnival just oh, yeah. due to the nature of the map. Tons more spawn uh, spawn points for the special infected here. There, I, I I think 
Dark Carnival, like the regular Dark Carnival, has these moments where it feels like certain parts of the maps are more survivor friendly and certain parts are more special infected friendly. Remix to me feels like more throughout the entirety of the map, it's very balanced. Absolutely. It has a wonderful balance to it. It feels like uh, nobody's really ever at an advantage. It just depends on who outplays who. Exactly. More na uh, map knowledge and more just general skill is going to be a huge difference maker in all of these Dark Carney Remix games. Absolutely. And now Ooh. we're getting another hit coming in. Uh, it's looking pretty much shut down. That was really unfortunate. That was a super good hit to get there for the entering of the, uh, whatever you want to call it, this building right here. Um, and everything missed. The Charger missed, the Hunter missed, the Jockey missed, and th that could have been a lot of potential damage. You hate to see it. Because say. it's a great hit, and it didn't land. Mm -mm. So, so this we're... is going to be... Yeah, they, they, I have to imagine they take this back to the safe room. We're looking at, oh, hit coming in. One boom coming out. Charge going in. Charge is not going to get a pound. Ellis is hoarded and smoked. Or, I'm sorry, Nick. Meanwhile, Tank going to climb this roof. Does have one of his dumpsters uh, sort of next to the... What is this? Bottle toss game right here, right to the left side of it. It's not a terrible spot, but it's not what you're looking for. So yeah, they're just going to take this, not in the safe room, just they're going to take this sort of by the restroom area, basically where you fight this tank in uh, regular Dark Carnival. Yep, it's a very, very similar take. The only difference is that it you can't move forward. <laughs> yeah, yep. Or not as easy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there is generally no forward. Okay, here they go, back... Once they realize that the hit isn't going to go in back towards the safe Are we area. going into war room here? Oh, yeah, I guess we can. Uh, this tank is probably going to commit relatively soon, but they'll take it away. Yeah, bro. No, you're not. No, you're not. Believe. Oh, 5%. He's got sight! Amazing. Holy fuck. I right, got some stumbles for him, maybe. He's going safe him, probably. Help him. Nice charge. Uh, nice! Nice, nice! It. Oh shit! Nice! Yeah, good. We made him pay for that. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like and there we'll go with the tank. They're gonna get two in caps there. They're getting them up real quick. And they're gonna keep moving here. Yeah, that was a solid enough tank. This is a very long map, so that's enough damage there where it's looking pretty bleak for the survivors to make it all the way. Um, tank just sort of had to rush in there, try to get down as many people as possible. Very solid, very by the numbers tank. Good job getting the uh, survivor's health a lot lower. Absolutely. Boomer going to come out. He's going to land one. That's not terrible. Hunter's coming out, landing on coach on top. Gonna get cleared pretty quick. Smoke getting destroyed, and Spitter not getting anything. It's difficult yeah. that you have to go through these same, this same choke right here now too, because this is a, this is not a great choke for the survivors. This is a pretty strong point for the special infected. So having to go through this again because of the tank when you're already weaker kind of sucks. Absolutely, I was gonna comment on taking the tank all the way in the safe room is a little bit rough because you know. You have to take in there, but you go all the way back. It's like playing mm -hmm. the map all the way over again. And a three oh, boom coming out. The charge! That's a really good charge coming out. He gets one pound, surprisingly. I thought that would have been two pounds at least. That was an amazing charge off the boom. But Babylonia is just aware, and they're ready, and they're moving automatically. They're ready to go. Yeah, sometimes you never know with the team communication and how blind you get and how and, and where the zombies spawn with that boomer puke. Uh, but a good job there having uh, Rochelle, I assume, corral the entire team and lead them to the charge to make sure it didn't get two pounds. That was amazing. Very smart plays. Smoker coming out. Not landing. Hunter going to land. Jockey coming in. Spit going to get some decent damage there. And they're all going to move through relatively unharmed so of course one of the most deadly chokes just in left 4 dead 2 in general and regular dark carnival doesn't exist on this map um nope they get to just go straight up through these stairs so most uh most people either like to go on the very top of the building 
next to the slides, or they go on the stairs anyway, which is like what I was gonna say. Oh, Hunter landing there, getting a little bit of damage. Jockey a little bit late. If Jockey could have landed earlier there, would have been a nice two cap. They might get the opportunity to still go on this roof anyway because everybody's so slow. The only fast survivors, once again, Rochelle. Doesn't seem like there's much to go for here. Chargers, I, I have to imagine. Once again, Rails is a quick hitting team. Uh, Royal Chaos, I wouldn't be surprised so if we go. send it. Nice charge, but it doesn't land in the spit. Or, or does it? I'm not sure. I didn't see that. Did it land it in the did. spit? I don't think it did. I think it missed I it a little bit. I, I don't believe it did either. Usually, I, when I, if I don't hear the sizzle, I just assume yeah. it did not land. Absolutely, yeah. Good, good job with that smoker, though, but an even better clear by Babylonia. If Ellis had gone down there, that, that probably would have been the end of the round right there. Uh, also, the best part of Dark Carnival Remix here, uh, the slide has water on it. I just like the slide's redesign in general. It's curvy, much less boring. It seems like a... Oh, th what a ski by Nathan. Nathan coming out with another Beautiful ski. He's really... He's showing up. He's here to play. I'd like to see it. We're gonna go ahead and cap uh, Nathan before they take this uh, crescendo event right here. Oh, two boom there. You don't want to see it before the event, especially with all these commons spawning down here. They have to clear them all now. Hunter coming back up here, landing on Nick and downing him. I wonder if they're ever going to be able to push the button. Coach finally does, but I don't know if they charge even rocket make it. spawn. Looks like charge missed the rocket spawn. Still lands on coach though. Uh, everyone is slow now. Oh, except for Ellis. I guess Ellis pop pills. Yep. Ellis is moving fast. Oh, not for long though. It looks like he's taking a lot of damage here. A couple good scratches, and Nathan's already at 40 HP. Give it a second, and yep, he is slow yeah. along the rest of his team. This is not looking good for Babylonia here. If Royal Chaos uh, capitalizes on this and gets health bonus, it's not going to look good for them. Hunter, what a great ski from Sloppy. I watched that from Hunter point of view, and that was very nice. Yeah, Babylonia has done a pretty good job securing the per uh, securing the perimeter from Hunters in general and watching each other as teammates. Uh, Coach trying to go for that tongue cut there, but Mia is going nope. to die because of the miss. Unfortunate. I saw oh, I Mia know. going for the uh, Charger level first. I don't know what happened in the Charger, but... See, I don't know. If, uh, I don't know if they were going for the charger level or the smoker cut. I, I either one, either way, the other one was gonna kill them. <laughs> Absolutely. Boomer went a little bit early, but still is gonna get that one boom onto Sloppy Wolf. Sloppy Wolf is going to get carried <laughs> into the ground. And, and let's now... see if Ellis can make it. I do not think. It... Oh, what a skeet from Nathan! But. That he's not going to be able to skeet that charger, and they're going to finish this <laughs> campaign, this chapter, with why would 824. You, why would you send the hunter first on my boy Nathan? He's out here. He's a skeet master. Right now, he's taking advantage of every single opportunity. When he sees those hunters, they've been shut down. They've done a good job at that at Babylonia's side. But now, we get to see if Rails team could possibly make it to the safe room. I believe that they can, honestly. They have shown that they play good Survivor. I believe that last game they just got caught up in a bad situation. And maybe this round they're going to show that, you know, they're hot stuff. Absolutely. Because Sloppy Wolf's team, uh, for the most part, did a relatively good job fighting the tank. A decent job. But, man, this, this, this map is so long that if the tank is able to do any considerable amount of damage, it's just rough. It's devastating. Let's see what the first hit's looking like. Boomer's coming out, landing absolutely nothing. Hunter lands. Fit is going to go out on that as well. That's some decent damage right there. 17 on the spit. But not enough to really call it a good hit, I'd say. Yeah, yeah completely fine, I think, for that hit right there. Giving that 17 damage to uh, Mia, the spitter. 
Um, and Grizz being at 80 now, it, it's definitely something, but they probably want one more solid hit before this tank at least. Absolutely. You'd love to see at least one person down to maybe 60 HP. And the smoker, ooh, and the charger going back. Chalky as well. Clear quick, though. Very nice clears coming out from Team Royal Chaos. Yeah, that charge was a bit late. I think he meant to bunny hop off the end of that bathroom fence, and he missed it, so he was a little late to the party helping the smoker out, uh, so the clears were a lot faster. It can be tough to land a bunny hop like that, you know? You're it's in the like, moment, yeah. the pressure's it, on you, you're in a tournament game. Especially when it's like the, the the level just sort of drops down, you're not the same at the same level from when you started the bunny hop. Those can be some of the most difficult. Oh, absolutely. You gotta just kinda, it's tough. It's you just tough gotta to adjust on the fly like that, literally. Mm -hmm. You just gotta be like, okay, I'm landing now. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard. Hunter coming out, landing with the spit again, and Jockey. Oh no, Ooh, that's that is what you needed. Hit. Let, that is exactly what they needed. Babylonia is coming back. They're saying, we're here to play too. That's the kind of hit right now that that you expect uh, Sloppy Wolf's team able to get it done. Royal Chaos, they all, they all flubbed that hit going into that building before, but not Babylonia. They were able to get it done. Absolutely. Tank is spawning up. Charger's coming in. And you know what, Amethyst? I think we're going to see a close game here. I think so too. Even no matter what happens, if uh, Royal Chaos was uh, su supposedly go to, going to go down to Nathan's tank oh, no. right here, it's only a 300 game. Oh, the about damage pounds! 24 damage pounds by Beautiful! Arm. Tank's just gonna roll in, I think. I believe this wouldn't be a bad time to do it. Oh, but kind of caught behind, and the dumpster is not in a spot you would want it to be. Immediately bails out. So Nathan took stock in the situation and just said, "Well, that dumpster did not go anywhere near where I wanted it to go. So I'm just going to reset my brain right here and not take a whole lot of chip." Yep. Ooh, Very smart idea. Right there. We're gonna push back though, and he, it's looking like he's going a second pass here. I can't believe in a miracle rock right now. So it's second pass. Good job by Royal Chaos to be able to get back to a safe location and not eat a really quick death by this tank. I believe that the tank has to commit soon, so Fanil, if you want to send it over to a war room, go right go ahead. Still only has one hit of all. He's in. Sorry. Lots of dumpster. Get you. He's on comment. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, uh, oh, gotcha. Fuck, reloading. Table. Oh. Rock. Good. Okay. Yes. Hit and then push. Yeah. You wanna push? Go. Yep, let's go. Yep. Yeah, he, he might try for a punch he might. when we try to leave. Yeah, he might drop on us. Be ready, be ready. Be ready. Okay, uh... Dad. Oh, <laughs> so close. Oh, fuck. No! <laughs> so, pretty decent tank by Nathan right there. Um, got out when he probably shouldn't have, like I was saying to uh, Chunk while we were watching without the uh, without our lovely assistant in uh, Vanille here. Uh, it Getting out there looks like a good idea, but that roof is curved, so landing rocks there or doing anything is going to be really hard. You probably just either stay in there or go into that room and threaten them from ground level. Yeah, it's a, definitely a tough spot to be in. I didn't recognize it from there, but yeah, he didn't have much. And then going AI, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. There while he was trying to get that curve rock, just what, just barely didn't have that frustration. And I believe, um, just in general, uh, Royal Chaos, Rails' team right here is uh, looking looking pretty solid. They have one pills left. Grizz just took them, and everyone's fast. So uh, as long as no comment can keep his health up, 
they're going to try to get through as much of this map as fast as possible. Absolutely, and they won't have to take the choke. Hunter is up there just kind of baiting around, trying to get their attention. Maybe Boomer will come in after the attention has been grabbed. Boomer spawning there. Bad spot for Boomer. Still getting the arc boom, though. I can't believe that after such an early spawn. Trying for the proxy, not going to land it. And it looks like everything otherwise has been shut down here. Sometimes in those situations where you have to look up when you hear a boomer, what a boomer can do is just spawn and just not peek. And everyone gets Absolutely. Nervous, looks up and then you attack from the ground. That can be really that can be a really deadly hit right there. It's a smart idea, but what I'm worried about here is I think the survivors should have moved to a different area when they heard the boomer there because that is the best spot for an arc boom to happen in the alley. And you kind of want to move out from that area, you know? Of course, not the ideal partner a spitter is looking for, but either way, Grizz is going to take a bit of damage because of the spittle help from my friend's achievement gain right there. <laughs> uh, and looks like they're just slowly trucking along here towards the water slime. Absolutely. Two moving down. All of them moving down now. Reloading. We have a charger, we have a hunter, we have a boomer, and we have a spitter. We have a 2 2 going out. Or, oh wait, am I wrong? Charger, Hunter, Boomer, oh, no, Spitter, no. that's the 2 2. Oh, beautiful 2 Boom. Oh, oh. oh, well, okay, that's not spit a bad hit. It, but it did not matter. All oh, the spit missing, though. Yeah, it didn't matter, but. Still rough. Could have been some extra damage bonus. Would you eat at the taco bucket, Chunk? Oh, of course I ate the taco bucket. Yeah? But to be honest. I prefer a uh, chocolate helicopter. <laughs> Touche, well done. <laughs> Hunter gonna go in, trying to get Ellis oh, here. He's gonna secure landing him. and the spit landing as well. That's not gonna be a down, but it's gonna be not even close. Looked like it might have done more damage, but it didn't. Sometimes those uh, spitters can be deceiving. Yeah, absolutely. Especially because that spit, if it even did catch the guy who was hunted in it, it, it like, barely. Like, because that spit spread yeah, was not ideal. Yeah, that spread, absolutely. Spitters can be deceiving. The spread always looks like it's better, but it is not. The one thing a spitter always works well with is a charger, and they have this combination right Ooh, now. Oh, nice charge landing there, but it's going to get clear, but the spit is landing. And that is a decent spread, but Rochelle runs right out of it. Actually, that spread was so terrible that sometimes you just get screwed over by yeah. Left 4 Dead 2. He ended I thought up... it was good, but then I saw that the he spitter... had a little pathway to yeah, leave. The spit landed right on Rails, but the entirety of the spit spread went left so Rails could just walk out of it right. That's so unfortunate. That could have been so much more damage. Hunter coming out. Hunter getting skeeted. Melee skeeted nonetheless by Rails. Very nice melee ski, and it looks like they are going to make it with a better health bonus and take the lead here. Reload. Be a super hefty lead, but it is going to be something 990 points in total for Rail Chaos. And yeah, like you said, while this tank was going in chunk, this is this has all the makings of a really close game. I'm excited. I really am. I love to see a close game. I hate to see a stomp. And, you know. I think stomps have their moments of being absolutely amazing, but I do have to agree with you close. They game. can be hilarious. Oh, they can be some of the funniest shit you've ever seen. But close games are always a lot more fun to watch. And it also it also makes people sweat more for the uh, for the fabled vanilla carrots, which is of course <laughs> my favorite part. Just everybody just panicking in the chat over how much I, they're gonna bet have you have you placed your bets chunk have you 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 gambled? i did not i did not place my bets in time actually i'm not gonna lie to you i was too worried about being here on yeah. time i feel but, like i feel like as a caster it is it is against my moral code to bet while i am casting but i, I will not judge you if you partake Uh, I'd love to, but like I said, I was too busy getting ready. Uh, 
if I had to pick who I think is gonna win here, just based on strictly play style, I think Royal Chaos is gonna win. I think they just need to they were just needing to warm up a bit, you know. I think they were kinda kinda goofy on the first map, you know. They weren't playing as good as they should have been. Cause... Not a bad bet, but I wouldn't count out my boys Babylonia because they've been pretty hot too. Absolutely not. Their infected has been playing very hot. Let's see what's going on here. Hunter's coming from behind. Smoker getting cleared immediately. Hunter landing. And Smoker getting cleared. Okay, so I don't think Ten. the really had any interest in landing there. I think he just wanted to die. 11 damage there, you know. That is weird, though, that they would... Mm, I, I'm confused by that, because I assumed that they killed Boomer last there to try to get Spitter or Quad, obviously, but the, the tank's up, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're going for either here. Maybe they're Boomer trying to get... I'm overthinking it. Usually it's Occam's Razor's case, you know, you overthink it. It's actually the simplest answer. Maybe the Boomer just wasn't able to spawn. Maybe we're about to see the play of a lifetime from Babylonia. It's pause of a lifetime right now. A quiz taken <laughs> day. Set up strategies. If you want to vanilla, you can just uh, go over to the war room as soon as this unpauses because I have to assume tanks are gonna go in relatively quickly here. Um, Absolutely. Until then, how is your day, vanilla? How are how are uh, how are things <laughs> on your end? How's the internet? How's the how's the camera work? The internet is great. And people finally get to choose their own resolution that they oh, want to watch in because I'm partner. Let's go. Oh, oh let's go. A round of applause for Vanille. I can't actually quad because I'm using push to talk, but imagine me clapping. I got it. Right now. Thank you, Chunk. Clap for them both of us. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. It, it just... And that, too, you getting partnered, it makes me so happy because it means that so, everybody in the community and even new people in the community are coming together and watching these games. And it's been so much fun to have the opportunity to cast a tournament like this. And uh, enough of the mushy-gushy stuff. Let's go ahead and get Vanille in that war room. See you guys in a sec. Absolutely. Yep, yep. I'm on it. I remember he's going to drop from that thing in the fucking ceiling. Potentially, if he knows where it is. The map? Sounds yeah, like he's probably doesn't know about it. He knows, he knows. He knows. That would be fucking spawn. Yeah, I'm blocking over here. Get ready to cut oh, him around. One easy. Yeah, it's alright. Comet's gonna kill the fuck out of him. Son of a bitch. He'll ever be fine. The camp will be hiding okay again. See then. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Still on me. Lost his jockey. I'm down. You can block all the way back to safer if you have to. He's just gonna cap you. Oh, the hunter's dead. Oh no. I don't think he's that low. I do. Maybe get lost, yeah. <laughs> You're lost so bad. Just pick him up. I've been received by him. Kill the smoker when he comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. They're gonna get a, a charger next. So you get, you get Hunter's coming for me now. We have to get to... Uh, Hold on, there's a thing hitting me right now. Okay. I'm dead. Tank is out, he's way out. Yeah, nobody should be standing right there. The tank on the hunter up there, yeah. Thanks, Dad. They're still there. He's backing off now. Alright, well... Oh my god. That tank right there. Some of the tank fights already in this game have been incredible. 
I thought, Chunk and I both thought for sure that that tank was a wipe. And then some great outplaying here by, by, by Lust was actually able to get, the, no, by Grizz, excuse me, was actually able to get the job done and make it so their team didn't get wiped by that tank. Unfortunately, uh, for Rail Chaos, uh, Rails is going to go ahead and uh, lose his life. So nothing taken away from Mia, who had a great tank, but man, was that a good job I, for keeping his team alive. I legitimately cannot believe that that was not a wipe. It was so close. It felt like a wipe. It had and all the then, Incredible play by the survivors. Very nice. I am impressed. And because of the great plays by Grizz, Royal Chaos is going to go ahead and keep trucking for as long as they can. Hopefully they're going to come across some pills soon because Lust is about five seconds away from hitting 39 health, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's not good, I'll tell you what. <laughs> especially, especially when you're down a survivor. Oh, when they're getting hit by the common? Yup, there we go. And they have another hit coming up here. This is not what you want to see. They're gonna come from the back per usual. Jockey's gonna go the same way. It's a quad. Two from the back. Oh, two here we from go. The and that is a three cap. Over as soon as it started, a well executed quad right there. And uh, looks like Royal Chaos are going to get maybe 90 more points, 80 more points than they would have if they just just got uh, wiped by that tank. So, a good job by Babylonia to limit the damage. You know, I'm gonna take it back. I think that Babylonia <laughs> is my favorite here. <laughs> you can't I seriously <laughs> think that, I seriously think that they are they're crazy. Yeah. You must very nice of, very nice plays by them. They're doing insane. You you must be you you're the kind of guy who takes like bets before like like a football game starts and then someone scores a touchdown and you go I don't want to bet anymore. <laughs> Alright, fine, fine. I'm still betting on Royal Chaos then. <laughs> I'm just saying I believe in them, you know? <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it's 100% uh, going to be a close game. I'm super interested to see how this tank's going to go. But first, we have to get through this uh, this hit right here. It's Royal Chaos's turn. All right, nothing really doing there after a pretty decent hunt. A good job in general for Babylonia to just clear that out. Yeah, um, after a three boom, that's very good damage, or you know what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> Not good tank, damage for the infected. Tank in the hands of no comment here. Um, it's a very weird tank fighting area because it does give you a lot more space than... Uh, Original Dark Carney, but also getting separated here is a lot, lot worse. Absolutely. We saw it last round. Yeah, with the yeah, jockey. Lust uh Lust got taken down the runway back to the safe room. It was not not pretty. Very nice shutdown on the boomer. That's gonna be rough for the tank. He really wanted that boomer, I'm assuming. But it's not gonna land. Yeah, you take it whenever you can get it. And Could now have it been a... like no I comment. Don't want... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> go ahead. You you go for it. All I right, was so gonna you say. Know what? You know what? I have to huh. stop you there because we got a war room to go to. Vanilla oh, absolutely. You're right. I forgot. Let's go, Vanilla. Okay, let him get that. All right, let's help him now, Asha. Get here. Oh, she self cleared. Nice. People get lost in that. <laughs> good tank take. Yeah, really good tank take there by Babylonia. Oh my god, beautiful. Only taking one in cap, and then baby Nathan uh, taking a little bit of damage from the pounce. And by a little bit, I mean a lot, but you know. Yeah, more than half his health gone, but 
you have to feel pretty good about that if you're Babylonia. Uh, Royal Chaos has a lot of work, a lot of catching up to do. So Sloppy Wolf's team is in the position here to take a big lead. This is their chance right here. And you'd love to see it. Of course, the uh, the coaster in this map looks a lot different too. It can still be extremely deadly, but I, I think the thing that really jets out about the coaster in the regular Dark Carney is how easy it is and how easy it can be to kill a team that's like even healthy on the very first part of the coaster with well-placed smoker in charge. Oh, that's absolutely. not really the case in Remix. No, in Remix, it's completely different. The coaster functions a lot differently, and we'll yep. see if the survivors will make it to the coast for this time. I hope they do, because I'd love to see. Oh yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. They do have the health to make it there. They're going to have to take this drop, so they're very close to it. Let's see if uh, a Royal Chaos can pull off anything crazy. Looks like... Aim for the drop here. Nick going. You're going to wait here and bait it out a second. Jockey coming in early. Ah... Uh... Wow, they all completely baited out that hit up top. Good yeah. job by Babylonia. Everyone tried to rush as soon as one person dropped, but Babylonia knew what they were going to do. They were going to stay up there, try to bait out that hit, and that, that's a dangerous pro uh, prospect because if they get camped up there, that's their good round gone, but it worked out very well. You know what? It's just like you said earlier. Rill's team, they're hit heavy. They're always looking for that next hit, and it's, that yeah. round, they were a little impatient. Yeah, and it's, it, it's always very fast like that, absolutely. It didn't work for them. They were mm -hmm. too impatient. Again, it's looking... Oh, wait, this might work for them, though. Landing... Uh, landing a two-cap, but it's not enough. Yeah, that's frustrating there with that boomer because that boomer was in a spot where he was waiting for the perfect time for the survivors to come closer to that roof, but as soon as he spawns, all of his teammates spawned in the back, so everybody turned around and ran towards the back, and the boomer was uh, up Shit's Creek without a paddle, basically. I'm a reload. Watch out. Reloading. Reloading. Ooh, Charger oh, wow. landing in the back. That's going to be a lot of damage with that spit. Absolutely. Pass those pills on to Coach. He's going to need them. That is the last set of pills. I think they... I don't know if they found two sets. There might be one more set. I don't remember. What you want to see here... They're ahead now. They need to just keep making it. And the health bonus is still pretty decent here. You still got to watch out for this big charge right here. It's, it's not the exact same situation as it is uh in dark carnival but you can you can still do a lot of damage here with some well-placed si oh the charger's gonna get stopped mm -hmm. and that's oh. huge <laughs> and sloppy over here is going to team skeet rails and that is going to be the end of that hit Smoker is still alive. up, but well, nope. <laughs> it's gonna be it for him. Babylonia just moving right along here. Everyone's still fast for the time being. Um, and with Grizz being late because of the smoker, they're gonna have to go with three. Boomer's gonna get shut down though. I hate to see it. And the question is, are they gonna wait or are they gonna go in right now? I think you can afford to wait for a hit. Charger going for... Whoa! Oh my gosh! Charger going for the ballsy charge, and it works out, getting a double. Unfortunately, there was nothing there to back him up. Yeah, that's one of those that looked a lot worse than it actually oh, was. Hunter landing a 19 damage pounce. Very nice from Rails. Yeah, they needed that because Mia is their health bonus right now. They really need to shut them down now. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm feeling like one more three-person hit before this safer because everybody is uh, slow, but they have to go fast. No, because Smoker's 
Smoker's low. Charger and Jockey have to do work. Can they? Oh, oh. Charger landing on Rochelle, not able to do anything and getting shut down. Smoker trying. It's over. They're making it with a... Let's see what they got here. They got a 92 health bonus on that round. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. The Charger Goomba stomping Rochelle right there, uh, and just that that always messes up your charge. You, you have to reset yourself completely. It, it's really unfortunate. What's going on? Man. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> everything all right? <laughs> Attacked? What? <laughs> what in the world? Like, I, there's like a helicopter in my living room. Uh, Some I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, this this uh, machinery run its course. If you want to, uh, yeah, if you want to just talk yeah. about something real quick, chunk. Absolutely. All right. So let me tell you guys about the history of uh, death grips. No, but seriously, <laughs> what we can talk about. <laughs> 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 Sorry to cut you telling a great story there. Seriously, we can talk about this map though, Dark Carnival Remix. What a nice map. Completely switches up the map. Uh keeps a lot of the same elements, but really changes it up. Unfortunately, uh I thought it was kind of a pretty map, but people have told me that it is an ugly map. And I guess oh. we're going live here, so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I disagree. I think I think this map looks pretty. I think it's really well made. Like I said, I think it's a lot more just throughout, a lot more just generally balanced. I think a lot of the tank fights are fun, um, a lot more open, a lot more hittables, a lot more spots for infected to spawn. I I think this is a very fun, very fun map and definitely one of the best uh, created maps by the community. Absolutely, it's extremely fun and it is really good for uh, competitive in my opinion. <laughs> I I tried to do spec HUD. Oh, now the attack helicopter's back. This is a mess. Oh, good lord. No. <laughs> so, I tried to turn spec HUD on, but I guess I hit my keybind? Oh, no. This is the... <laughs> it was going, it's going so well. No. My, no. my living room's being no. renovated. It happens. I... I fat finger my binds all the time. It happens. Let's let's pretend like nothing happened. It's Just get on good. with the game. Oh, I need to spec code too. Mine's down. Hold up. Uh. <coughs> so we got a charger, smoker, spitter, hunter up right now. It's a pretty deadly hit right here, especially if the charger and um, smoker can work in tandem right here with the spitter. Definitely, they're gonna come out right now. Hunter's going for the damage, missing, landing on Ellis King. Insta there it is. Charger's gonna land for the 10 damage, and the Spitter's gonna go down, but it's not gonna do enough. Yeah, good job by Sloppy taking the uh, quick way out there on the uh, trash can uh, to get out of there instead of walking through it. Absolutely, Babylonia is playing really, really well right now. Now approaching this gazebo area, one of the more open areas of Remix in general. Charger that come from the right is going to whiff. Jockey's going to land though, Jockey. and the Hunter can land damage well. on that Jockey. It's unfortunate. If Hunter could have landed a bit earlier there, would have been a lot more damage. Yeah, um, everybody just wasn't quite on the same pace there. Pretty good job though, like I said, that's that's a pretty open area for this map, so landing anything there is usually pretty alright. Yeah, this is a tough map in some areas. It can be really open and it's hard for, uh, you know, infected to get anything done. That is definitely an area. Ice Boomer is... Ice Boomer is lost. Uh... <laughs> 
Smoker gonna come from the top of the roof. It's gonna get shut down Smoker. very quickly, and the spitter is just oh. like, I don't know, man. I was waiting for my friends here. Take, <laughs> take this green goo. I don't know. I'll slow him down a little bit for you guys. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's not stopping, though. He's on a roll. And as I say that, he stops. It's <laughs> These guys are definitely out here trying to win. Like I said, they're here to play. They are here to play. If they weren't trying to win, I'd be a little mad at them. Let's see how they take this hit up here. And then up. It sounds like my, sounds like my living room. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh boy. This is a, oh wait, is this a quad? It is a, no, nah, it's just a boomer. Right, the boomer, charger, hunter, jockey. This is still a pretty decent hit when they want to actually get a move on here. Boomer is trying to go for an arc boom, it looks like. Nope. Oh, no, yeah, boomer is trying to go for an arc boom, but it's... He's going to get a he's two. He's going to get two. Very nice. Very nice. Hunter coming in. Not landing Ooh. yet. Charger lands. Gets one Where? pound. Hunter? Oh, that right, hunter Hunter, hunter. no. Oh, that's disappointing. That's not what you want to see. That is awful. Gang stuck behind the railing. Yeah, you hate to see that, if I may take a quote from your book, but... It's <laughs> a good you charge, may, though. You, really about. you can take that. I'll allow it. Thank you, thank you man. <laughs> so, um, to be completely honest with you, this definitely... Oh, okay, I don't... Well, he's there. coming in on that. Go War Room. You know he's going in on that. This tank I am. That tank is certainly going to commit off that. Uh, he, has a he has a smoker and a charger as his helper. Uh, Rails is going to get a pull from the smoker and is going to try to corner. Who is that right there? Well, actually, he's going to target Snake. Going to go Coach is Oh, again. Coach got his pills off. And Tank oh, is dead. dead. Babylon. Oh, and the double charge and smoke. Oh, no. Too little. Too The deep. support coming in so late. Chaos living by its namesake. That boom was tremendous, but the rest of the team couldn't find good spawns. That charger was trying to... It was like that. You could see that that charger was trying to go for a double charge or something. He was getting a little greedy, and because of it, Rails ate too much damage. That was so unfortunate. I can't believe that. The boom was insane. He just and... didn't get the support. Because you had that early pull and oh, he no. to capitalize off it, but he wasn't able to get that corner. So then he just changed his objective to trying to spread the damage. And then you had a charger and hunter, but they couldn't find spots. They were trying to find the perfect locations, and they did find really good locations. You saw that we had a double charge and a smoker, but it was too late. It was way too late. The tank was dead for at least three, four seconds before that hit came up. And it just... I hate to say it, but it looks like they might be a little tilted here. The hits are just coming out. Oh, the two boom is nice, but... There's nothing to back it up. Yeah. I would hate for this to be Royal Chaos's last hurrah for this, um... For this chapter, but they're gonna have to make quite a pretty bonus uh for this to uh be a relevant game anymore it's not really a mountain to climb it's more like a hill but you know yeah i would definitely <laughs> definitely say so like you it's a you're, you're up by like what 300 300 last chapter uh something like that yeah around there it's it's a bit of a steep hill to climb but i think they can do it I, I believe in them, but they really have to... The infected just did not look that good. And they're readying up, and we're going live immediately. So real quick, I have a... I don't know if... I have a question. Vanilla, I don't know if you know this. Like, so let's say that Royal Chaos gets like 2,250 points, right? Can they call Finale, or does that have to be a pre... Because Remix's Finale is insane. So like... Do you have to call that beforehand, or is there like a point difference, or do you know what the ruling is there? I think they have to both agree before the match. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm assuming that was a no, so yeah, this is going okay. to be a uh, real okay. Oh, double boom landing, and Jockey getting a decent amount of damage there. 
We're looking at a, uh... We're running 25 damage hit here. Oh, it's climbing, though. Uh, yep. Climbing indeed. 81 for Lust, 82 for Grizz. Everyone else sitting closer to 100, but, um... You're looking at about a 35 damage hit here, 36, something like that. And this next hit right here is even more deadly, especially with this spitter, so they, they need to watch out. They do have the charger. They don't have a smoker, but that doesn't matter as much as you might think. They're going to go inside. The charger's going to chicken out, actually. Uh, looks like some planes oh, right there. That could be good, good for uh, Royal Chaos. They're baiting this really hard. Yeah, why are they baiting this so hard? Just go. Yeah. Hunter's going in. I think that Charger kind of goofed there, uh, I'm going to be honest. I think Charger should have gone in instantly. I think it would have distracted them. It would have, like, you know, disoriented them. Yeah, that actually had the makings of being really bad there for Royal Chaos, because uh, if they had waited until the Charger had come back, that, that could have been really bad for them. I think they probably should just should have just gone out when they saw that the uh, Charger, when they heard that the Charger was on the roof going back, if they did hear it. I don't uh, know. Sounds with this game are completely... <laughs> messed up now <laughs> absolutely it's Ooh. pretty fucking gross <clears throat> alright you gotta like that take right there if you're royal chaos or getting closer and closer to this crescendo event and then they have this tank to fight if they can maintain this amount of health good 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 things will happen hey, look out. yeah it's absolutely uh, great so far they're doing a great job of uh Keeping their health up, taking these hits well, shutting down everything. They just have to make sure they don't take any big hits here. And with a Charger and a Jockey Boomer Hunter here, if they get three gapped, it's bad. Especially in this barn, which is what they're setting up for. Let's see what happens. Charger missing. Hunter landing. It's not enough. Yeah, another good take right there. Maybe about five damage going out in total. Um, five or eight and just somewhere in the single digits if not pretty close to it if you're babylonia you have to imagine you'd like to get at least another decent hit and take off the uh take off a little bit of the pressure forever who this last tank is um not quite sure who it is but we will see in just a moment well a little bit a moment plus charger, charger misses again whiffing unfortunate oh, but this Okay. Lusty and somehow out of that spit. Very lucky. That, that was incredible. Yeah, this isn't quite a nail biter just yet, but Royal Chaos is doing their best to make this one close. They are not going to waste any time. They're just going to keep moving forward. I have to imagine this boomer is going to go in as fast as possible. Tank is up. In the hands of. Uh, R's. 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 Yeah. I guess that's how you R's. say it. <laughs> like R's. a pirate with an RS. R's. <laughs> Going for a miracle rock here. Let's see what happens. Boomer is going to get a one boom. Nice. Good job taking care of those rocks. Hunter is going on a vacation over there. He's trying to find the regular Dark Carnival map. <laughs> Tank doing a nice job of uh, mitigating chip. <gasps> He's going gonna, in gonna... though. He's going in, committing immediately. All right, so they got to back away from the tank now. Is Grizz was get... the one with the least amount of damage in general. Gonna get the end cap on no, Ellis. Coming. Two K HP left. Jockey's going. Jockey oh, should have been going for Nick. I think that's it. I do not think they can win any longer. I tank don't believe is they can get either. No comment. I think that Babylonia just took this. Yep, I, I do believe they did. I can't believe that. The I... GG coming out from Grizz. That, oh, that looked so promising. And he's gone. Grizz leaves the game. I cannot yeah. believe I doubted these guys. Babylonia making it work. The final Incredible. score. Incredible. 2,344 to 1,498. Babylonia um, taking out some of the veterans of the Left 4 Dead 2 community. I cannot believe this insane infected play. Very nice job from Babylonia. Uh, definitely a team to look out for in future games. Yeah, very well done by Babylonia there. They were able to keep their cool in a pretty close game.
Uh, you have to imagine that if there is one thing that uh, Royal Chaos regrets, it's that very last tank fight. You know Rails is probably a little sore at that. Probably needed his infected to go in way earlier. There was a huge miscommunication there after a boom that looked like it was going to end all worlds and I... ship the tide of the game. And oh, that's disapp- they, that, that's a heartbreaker for uh, for Royal Chaos. I am still in absolute disbelief that that boom did not cause a wipe. That yeah. was a perfect boom, and there was just no communication. Yeah, it's, nothing it's happened. Really off unfortunate. Of it. Because it can be hard to find a charge there, but if push comes to shove, you got to at least spawn to make noise, spawn to distract. If, if nothing else, you're going to take a gun off the tank. Trying to find that perfect charge is just not worth it. And meanwhile, Babylonia were able to keep it together, uh, had really good infected spawns in general. Uh, or even with that one boom, they were able to separate the entirety of Royal Chaos for that last map. And uh, yeah, Babylonia takes a really solid game. Congratulations to them. Absolutely. Good job, Babylonia. And I think I'd like to add on that real quick. Uh, There's like a parallel here because it felt like when Babylonia would take three or four booms, they were still able to stay coordinated and survive it. All it took for them was to get a one boom and they would wipe the team. It certainly looked like at times Babylonia had an easier time sticking together. It was incredible. They did an amazing job, and they played really smart. Well, that's uh, yeah, it's gonna do it. That was a really fun uh, remix game. I had a lot of fun casting it. I hope you did as well, Chunk. Oh, absolutely. It was my first time casting, by the way. So sorry if I, you know, <laughs> I I think you a bit. did a beautiful, wonderful job. Well, thank you so much, Amethyst. I appreciate it so much. It was wonderful co-casting with you, my man. Oh, absolutely, Vanilla. Is there anything you'd like to say to the uh? the lovely watchers of your stream happy birthday everybody happy birthday <laughs> even if it's not your birthday why are you being negative <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday. everybody um, subscribe to vanilla is there another game going on right now vanilla? Um, let me see because i see sync splotches right here and judgment Um, it looks like they don't have a streamer, and but I don't have any casters for that one. Uh, is the game going on right now? I think so. Okay, all right. Do you, do you want to try to cast that game? I could do it by myself if you're not up to a chunk. Um, I'll hop into another one with you if you want. Do you know what chapter they're on right now, Vanilla? Nope. I can ask. All right, give that a shot. We're, let's see if uh, we might have another game going right here. Um, and if we don't, on Saturday at, uh, let's see, 6 a.m. Central Time. Good Lord, some uh, <laughs> some foreign teams there. 6 a.m. Central Time is going to be Evo versus Tempo. That one's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, not, and then 11 a.m. Central, Fear versus Pink Gang. And then uh, 9 p.m., on uh, Saturday, tomorrow, we have Stuck in Rotation versus Duplex. So a lot of really, really solid games tomorrow. Don't miss any of those. Those are going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, make, make sure to wake up early, you know, eat your Raisin Bran and watch some good old Left 4 Dead at 6 a.m., you know? Yeah, eat some, eat some, uh, is Trix? I heard Trix was discontinued. Is that a, tri- is Trix discontinued? They have it, but I don't know. It's like weird now, isn't it? Like, it's, I don't know. Is it, is it still for kids? No, uh, yeah, it is. You, you're not like <laughs> you when you when you go it. when you go to the cereal aisle, you don't even see it. It's just invisible. Oh, you know what? That's that's actually one of those weird theories that I heard. Where like it's like, um, because it's like discontinued, right? But it's not actually discontinued. We just can't see it anymore because we're adults. Have you heard that theory? No, I haven't. That sounds like some uh, crackhead shit. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's what people say. I... <laughs> oh my god. Did, did they respond back? Vanilla, do you know? Are you yeah, in there? Yeah, they're in the first round, first um, thing, first. Alright. Right, do you, do you want to cast that? Or are you, are you like, 
you going to bed here. It's, it's up to you. Completely. Oh, you mean solo cast? No, no I'm talking to Vanilla. Vanilla's oh, Vanilla. Oh, what they're talking yeah? to me. All right, Chunk, if you're down, I'll 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 keep the ball rolling. Try cast? Or what's up? <laughs> no, oh, you're, no, you're, you're, oh, you're, oh, you're doing ca oh, my the bad. camera, girl. Nah, I've what do you think she's here for? <laughs> You're gonna cameraman and cast. That's cool. All right, but for real, yeah, I'm, I'll keep the ball rolling. I don't care. All right, okay. Let's uh, let's head in directly to another game, and <sighs> we got some more action going on for you. Let's let me go ahead and uh, join us with Vanilla real quick. Yeah, me too. Can you guys send me? Uh, uh she's doing the thing, of course. Did you do that? Just uh, send me IP and uh, chat whenever. I have to take a quick break though. Rush go right ahead. So, uh, yeah, go for it. What uh? What server is it, Vanilla? Um, one second. I'll give you the IP. Thank you. Oh, well, anyway, I hope uh, I hope you guys are doing well out there in the uh realm of the Left 4 Dead 2 community. How was your day? My name is Amethyst. It's been a a pleasure talking to you this evening and uh, having you listen in to these dark carnival remix games i hope you're having a good time make sure if you've got the spare change to drop a subscribe for my girl vanilla here she deserves it puts a lot of work into uh into these casts one of the uh one of the greatest members of the left 4 dead 2 community you, you will possibly find she's a doll um go ahead and drop a follow at the very least that's the least you can do it's free come on it doesn't cost you anything make sure you bet those carrots make sure you tune in for the rest of rbt5 because uh we're having a lot of fun man it's been it's been a great tournament so far Okay, um, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna restart the stream so it can be, um, thingy. All right, so, uh, are they, are you offline right now? No, not yet. Okay, all right.